So today we're going to be working on a Fisher Minimount plow. I'm going to show you the symptom and I know what the, the problem is already. The filter is clogged, it's iced up inside. But I'm going to show you what it does. You'll stammer and hesitate and work really hard just to lift it up a little bit. I'm going to show you right now. Let's take a look. If we keep trying to run it that way, we're going to burn up the pump. This uh, this electric motor, actually, not the pump, but we'll we'll burn it up. So we got to take it apart, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to clean out that screen, and we're going to put it back together. So she is waterproof and ready to roll for the next storm. Hey kids, yep, I got her in the shop. I know, it looks cold in here because it is freaking cold in here. It's like 50 below zero. Everybody just calm down. I have heat. You can probably hear it. It's nice and quiet. Radiant heat. I'm not that cold. So everybody calm down. Everybody's very concerned about how cold I am. I'm not that cold or else I wouldn't be freaking doing it. I'd be in there sitting in the fireplace. True story. Okay, so first thing we got to do... Hey, we need more light. There we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do is clean that off. I've already done it. But you're going to want to make sure there's no snow and ice and dirt and every debris. I scraped it and I blew it off. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kill all the power source to it. And it's real simple to do. Just unplug this battery hook up to it. It's the two-pronged, big, heavy-duty thing. It's what these wires go to, to your truck. Should be able to just unplug it. This is what that end looks like. It's a two prong deal. Just pull it around. Now, I have a ground wire here on this one. I'm going to need a 9 16 box end wrench. Is easy. You can use a socket if you want. 9 16 right here. I'm going to just undo both these wires. It makes my life easier. It's a heavy wire on it. You don't really have to because we're not replacing the pump motor. We're not replacing this motor, the electric motor. We are cleaning the screen on it. I'll show you. So let's just be smart, people. Put your bolt and washer back on it. And then you can't really lose it. Okay, kids? Smarter, not harder. When you're taking your bolt off, put your hand underneath it so you can capture it. I don't know doing anything crazy on you. Let's take that wire right out. So there, the wire's off it. It's that simple. Matter of seconds, really. Put your washer and your nut back on it, like I said, so you can't lose it. Okay? I don't have to go crazy with it. So our next step is to take these two bolts off. There's just two. That is going to be a socket wrench and a, um, I believe it's 5 8 with an extension. I have a 6 inch extension. And this is, yes, it's a 5 8 Just remember, you got this chain here. Don't over horsepower, so you're getting bloody knuckles, kids. Everybody wants to put so much horsepower into it. Just enough. Of course, I'm I'm like freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's a true story. Can't tell with all these fluff. Those are fluff layers. It's insulation. It's a true story. All right, you got it loose. You can't take it out by finger. Should be able to. Okay. Alright, put your bolts in a safe spot. On the back one, there's a bracket for your connectors to go into. It houses them when your plow is unhooked. This is what it looks like. 
put it back where you got it when you're done. Everybody takes those off, and then you don't have a place to put your connectors connectors to. Okay, so now a uh, little trick is to give this love taps with your persuader. We don't need to damage everything. We just need to break it. Okay, she's broke. We can pop it now. Get it wiggled. Okay, so inside this, this has a shaft housing. The starter does. And there's a shaft that comes up from the hydraulic pump. This turns and spins and makes that a hydraulic pump. So we don't want to break it or compromise it or loosen it or ruin it. So when you pick it up, it's okay to break it free a little bit, but pick it straight up. Life will be good if you do. It's not that heavy. And that's what she looks like. This is your electric motor. So if you have to replace it, you just do the opposite that we did. This one is still good. She's still working strong. The issue is actually ice buildup. Okay. So now you probably can see from there. I don't know if you can. Let's see if you can get down a little bit. Right here is the shaft. There are four bolts. We have to take out those four bolts. Those are uh, seven sixteenths. Let's see. Don't I have one out ready? This half inch. Not a half inch. It is half inch. Okay. Okay. One. One. Important not to get any dirt inside this hydraulic tank. That's what this is, the hydraulic tank. There's a hydraulic cylinder. Alright, those particles, if you put anything in there, you're going to be doing this again and again. And every time you do it, you get dirt in it. You're going to just keep repeating the cycle. Remember, you got a chain here, so don't over horsepower. Okay. If you got to warm up your hand, put your hand in the heater. That's what I'm doing. I got a heater right here. Calm down, people. I got freaking heat. Everybody thinks I don't have heat. Just looks like I don't. Pretty good sized shop, so it takes takes a while for it to warm up. Okay, so you get those out all loose, so you see them wiggle, but you don't have to try to pick them out because they're going to come right out with the whole pump. Okay, so our next step is to keep it clean as we take it apart. So cleanliness is really important on everything in life. Okay, so we're going to pick it up. Okay, something's still, one of them is still. Hung up there, let's get our wrench. There we go. Let it drip in there. When you pick it up, let's not lose anything off it. And let's use that hand that you can see with. So now, we take this. Out. Only two of them have washers. Okay. Put those in a nice, dry, safe spot. Our screen is 
right here on the side. So, let's see if I can pop it off without too much trouble. We'll set that back in. Let's take a look. Take a look at this. Can you see this? Let's see. Right here. Let's get my little... you got to be careful with this, this filter. Because it will puncture easy. But this is ice. See it? It's all ice in there. So she definitely got a liquid problem going on. It's not wax of any kind. That's ice. So let's take a look. Look at that, huh? Can you see that? Let's see if we can get it underneath. This is all ice. Right? Be gentle. Just like hands of a surgeon. That's ice. Right? So there is a way. Um, that if you brought it in a shop and let it fall out. That ice would turn back to a liquid form, water, and you'd be able to continue on plowing. But I say it's a good thing that it happened. If you really don't want any water in your oil, in your hydraulic pump, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to pause it and I'm going to clean this, and then we're going to get right back to it. Okay, so um, we got that screen. I got that screen nice and clean. I blew it out. I scraped her out. I blew it out. So there is not a drop, a stitch of any ice or debris in it. I'm going to set that in a safe spot. So now my next goal is to make sure everything else is clean in here. I'm, I'm anal about those type of things, so I am going to clean it out. My drain plug is no good on this. She's been stripped before. It's an old truck, so I got to use a turkey baster. Yeah, you got to go down to your local grocery store to get something like this, but it is the bee's knees if you want to take out your oil and drain it out, and you can actually filter it and screen it with a... Um, with one of those uh, nice um, galvanized funnels that has a brass screen in it. If you use that, that brass screen will separate any of the water and will take it right out. I'm afraid that there might be water in it, so I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, repurposing this oil at a at a facility. Let them deal with this stuff, and I'm going to put brand new, fresh Fisher oil and we'll go over that in just a minute so i'm going to pause it again because you don't need to watch me do any more than this i'll be wasting your time watching this video you don't need to you already saw what i'm doing so let's do this okay so i took all the oil out and that way i can see where to put my bolts when i put it back in secondly i don't want to really reuse this oil i want to um, put some new Fisher oil in it so I know I don't have any problems the rest of the season. Alright, and as I take a look here and I realize there's only two bolts that you need to take out. I took out four and I'm, I'm seeing it now. I made a major mistake. Um, the two with the washers on it are the only two that you need to take apart that hold it to the housing of the, um, of the tank. Alright, so, I apologize about that. So, hopefully, uh, yeah, I'll probably get some bad reviews on that. Uh, so, we're going to put that screen gently back on. And you got to, it's better to do it inside it. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now I can see where my bolt holes are. I have it lifted up. So I'm going to stand up and I'm going to put this right in the right spot. Line up my bolt, the hole, get it started. Make sure I'm lined up at least on one hole. You can feel it set. 
pull it good. Let's put the second one in. I already took the liberty to put my other two bolts back in it. Um, hopefully I didn't cause you too much grief on that because you uh, you don't want that pump to come apart. Uh, that's how you take apart the pump. We don't need to do that. We just need to take it off. And uh, I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. And I am not going to rewind and do this over. No do-overs. I try not to do any do-overs. Snug. Don't want to strip it, but pretty snug, okay? And uh, you don't want to. Yeah, it's a firm one. Just don't want her to come apart. And make sure your other two are in there pretty good too. We don't need to break anything, strip anything. Good. Okay. You know your strength. Don't don't overdo it. All right. So I was able to save my gasket. I am not going to do anything to it. You can put some um, some uh, silicone in there, some gasket maker material, but I'm not going to do that because mine looks good. And uh, old trick, you can always wrap it in plastic. For the season if you think you got a, a moisture problem i think this thing had water in it to boot so she was i bought this truck used so yeah all right let's get the right motor the original one that came with it all right here's my trick line up your shaft with the two bolts. Go straight across with it. Do the same with the the with the shaft housing and it goes onto the the motor. Straight across. And then when you put your bolts in, and it's easy to remember that these have to go in the front. So there's really, it's really a no-brainer to put this back together. You line it up, everything's lined up, she should slide right into place. Yes. Of course, she wants to fight a little bit. Double check it. Don't force anything, people. Nothing needs to be forced. Just like that, okay? Guess I could have done that the first time. Let's put these two bolts back in it. Get them started. Your hands are cold like mine. Heat them up with your radiant heater. Yeah, I got heat. Uh, you guys don't believe it, but I do. Put your bracket for your connectors to go in back on it. How many times have I seen plows without those on it? And then, oh, too many times. I was lazy. It's a true story. Don't be lazy, people. Stop being lazy. This is your 5-8s, right? Yeah, 5-8s. So loose. Let's do it this way. Okay. So when you go to put anything together, you don't want to crank it down all the way. And uh, compromise your gasket, pinch it on one side. So you snug it a little bit on one side, and then you do your other side. Okay, it's really 
not rocket science, but a lot of people, some people, oh, uh, can't get it on, it's cracked, something happened. No, they, don't, they don't really say that, but anyhow. I'm just trying to entertain while I'm doing this boring part. Because, you know, you don't really need to see me do all this. And I want to get it snug. And don't have to over crank it, but you want it to be sealed. There we go. Yep. One last check. Yep, good. Okay. Now, we're going to put our wires back on. Do not hook up to the battery first. Do that last. Make sure you put the wires in the same way they came. So it's pretty easy on this one. My wire, one wire, the ground one, that's closest. And this is marked ground. So that's the black. The one with any red on it will be your positive. That goes to the other terminal. These ones are sized. See, see one's longer than the other. So... Yeah, really self-explanatory for mine, but not all of them are like that. Some have new wires, some are handmade. I'm pretty lucky. Mine, mine is just like it's supposed to be. Okay. Get your washer on. Get your nut started. Don't really drop anything. That's the trick. Okay, I'm going to take this nut off while I put that one on. Ambidextrous. Yeah, I know. I do magic. That's magic trick right there. Did you see that? Pretty freaking incredible talent, I tell you. Take one on. Take, put one off. Like Mr. Miyagi taught me um, teen years ago. Love Mr. Miyagi. Who doesn't like karate kids? Wax on, wax off. It's a true story. I got the wrong size wrench on that, don't I? Well, we'll use a 9 sixteenths. Go a lot quicker if we do. Look at that. See how quick that goes? Get her snugged up. Get her right. Get your wires right. Make it look good. Make sure nothing's touching. Nothing's going to arc it. Look at that. Okay, people. We are ready. Okay. We're ready to make the connection. Here we go. Plug it in. Make sure it's everything's secure. Everything's good. Here we go. We're going to start it up and see if this pump will raise this plow up and down as it should. Excuse me, people. She's good to go. So that's the trick. Just remember, it's only two bolts that you need to take out of that pump. They're the ones with the washers. I made a mistake on that when I said four, just two. So I'm hoping that you watch the video first before you attempt it so you see my correction. And I will make that correction um, in a write up. Uh, yep. Everything's good to go. So now you can go plow snow. You too can fix your problems. Subscribe. Please, people, subscribe to my channel. Lots of good stuff. Watch for Bert the Butterfly. He's coming up next. Peace out.